Hey everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a gorgeous card for you um, featuring the Time Together bundle. Um, this time I'm not using the large um, hourglass. I'm using this little tiny die. Isn't it so cute? Little tiny die. Um, I'm going to create this gorgeous background for you. Now I have to give credit where credit is due. I saw a card by Anne Marie Nuss. Bomber, I believe is how you say her last name. I probably said it wrong, but she's from Germany and she did a gorgeous card with this background and I immediately had to make that background myself. Um, she used different stamps and um, dies, but I had to create this. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to show you exactly how to create that. I have some other projects using this as um, especially the larger um, hourglass. If you're looking for that, make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog and you'll find them there. Okay, let's get creating. You're gonna need a piece of grid paper to protect your work surface and a quarter sheet of basic white, um, just a four. Actually, I cut it to four by five and a fourth. Now I put a little bit of adhesive on the back so that I can stick it down and it won't move around on this grid paper. I am gonna use Melon Mambo Orchid Oasis, Starry Sky, and I think I'm gonna put a little bit of Gorgeous Grape as well. Look at that color uh, scheme, isn't that gorgeous? All right, we're gonna start with Melon Mambo, and I've got my blending brushes, and when you start blending with your brush, you don't wanna set your brush down on your paper because it leaves a hard edge like that. So always set it down on your grid paper first and move over to your white paper, okay? Now this is going to, the intensity of your piece is going to depend on how dedicated you are, how strong your arm muscles are. This is a workout. And I do believe that my right arm muscles are bigger than my left arm, much bigger because of this. <laughs> because this takes a lot of arm power. So just keep blending, blending, blending until you feel like, okay, I've, I've got enough of the Melon Mambo. Now we're gonna switch over to the bottom and I'm gonna use Orchid Oasis. Um, let's see, I've got another blending brush and this time I'm gonna start from the bottom. Orchid Oasis is a purpley blue. I can't ever decide, is it blue, is it purple? Is it blue, is it purple? It just depends really, I think what color you have it next to. When I first laid down my blending brush, it looked blue, but now as I'm working, it looks purple, doesn't it? All right, I've got a couple of weird little stray specks there, but I think it'll be okay because we're gonna actually do some stamping on top of that. I'm gonna take my Melon Mambo again and just blend in that middle section, okay? Now let's switch over to Starry Sky. Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis are both in colors. They will be leaving us at the end, well, at the end of the 2024 catalog period, which is in the spring. So if you love these colors as much as I do, make sure you st stock up on all of the things that we have that go, whoops, I almost got the wrong color, that, that uh, coordinate. We have ribbon, we ink, have ink, paper, markers, we have all of it. All right, a little bit more. I don't know how much more my... <laughs> <laughs> arm can take. All right. Now, think here in the middle. It just always seems to need some more blending. There we go to get those two to blend. Now, last but not least, I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to leave my starry sky open because we're going to use that. But we're going to take gorgeous grape and I'm going to use my purple blending brush and I'm going to go around the edges, both on the bottom and the top. Now go light on the top because it is very dark. Okay. I think we've reached I think we've reached the point where we need to stop. This is Melon Mambo again. Melon Mambo just takes those colors and just kind of smooths them all together. Now, let's move these out of the way cuz they are very messy. And I'm going to take my 
bowl of water. That's all it is, a bowl of water. And I'm going to just dip my fingers and I'm just gonna kind of do some splatters, okay? Like that. And I'm gonna let it dry for, you know, a minute or two. We're gonna do some stamping and we're gonna come back to this in just a minute. Now the only real stamp that I'm using from this set is the sentiment stamp. And I'm gonna take my banner with my um, starry sky. I'm gonna stamp that here. And we're gonna get the sentiment. We're gonna do in the same color, starry sky. And the sentiment fits in your banner, but don't make the same mistake I did and think, oh, you know, my, my um, stamp is is not on the block right no just turn your banner <laughs> and it'll fit i love that sentiment i love you until the end of time all right now i have everything else cut out we just need to cut this out and i'm going to take my dies and um i really recommend using some um post-it tape. I'll have this linked on my blog. I have it linked all the time from Amazon. It is so good to hold on your dies. I find that these longer dies, the long skinny dies, like to, you know, bounce and, and not be where they're supposed to be by the time you get it through your machine. So I like to take just a little bit of washi tape, or not washi tape. I don't like washi tape for this. I like post-it tape because post-it tape will not tear your paper at all. So put it there, run it through, and it will be exactly where you wanted it when it comes out. Now I've already done some die cutting ahead of time. I have the, the little tiny hourglass, which is um, in basic black. I cut these hearts also from this set right here and here. I cut the top one in um, starry sky and the bottom one and orchid oasis and I'm going to just very lightly put some teeny tiny dots of glue like that okay and then we'll take this and flip it over and adhere that there all right I have two one inch strips of our textured vellum ah that may not be the right word i'll have the the exact names of the supply items on a free pdf on my blog so make sure you click that link here on youtube all right and then the last thing that we need is a um starry sky card base and then i've got the starry sky actually no this is the orchid oasis metallic ribbon. They're very similar Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky. I'm going to tie a bow. I really like this ribbon because it is light as air and it will not add any weight or bulk to your cards. All right, so now we've got all of our pieces in place. Let's bring back over our, our piece. Oh, look at it. The water does something amazing to it. Um, if you're worried that it's still wet, you can take a paper towel and pick it up, but nothing came up. Now, I'm gonna use this image right here, Grassy Grove. Um, this is a, one of our red rubber stamps from our annual catalog. And I'm gonna stamp the grass across the edge here in Starry Sky. Overlapping just a bit, like that, all right? And there we have our background piece, just really beautiful. All right, now, you know what? I'm gonna put my grid paper down again because it's still gonna be a little bit wet and I don't wanna get my table dirty. Um, I'm gonna put a pretty good amount of adhesive on the edges because we have done a lot to this cardstock and it's a little bit um, warped on the edges. So we want it to stick down flat. All right, put that there. And then I'm gonna use some um, just my stamp and seal here on my vellum. I'm going to put one there and one here like that. And now we'll just layer everything on. I'm going to start with my sentiment and we'll build up from there. I'm going to use the edges of my 
big dimensionals, don't throw your dimensional sheets away, guys. Use those edge pieces. Um, or you can use many dimensionals here too. All right, I'm gonna put that right there. And then we'll take these guys and we'll use our regular dimensionals. Got one here like that. And we'll do this one like that. And then we got a glue dot for our bow and we are done. Now, if you don't need a card that says, I'll love you till the end of time, don't worry. There are other sentiments in this card, in this stamp set that will work. I miss you every minute of every hour and time to celebrate happy birthday. Everybody could use that. Um, and there you go, you guys, that's it. Isn't that a gorgeous card? Huge wow factor and relatively pretty easy. One thing I wanna point out, I can see my adhesive right there. Sometimes seal, you can see it through if the background is darker. So what I recommend doing is putting the seal here in the middle of your pieces so it'll be covered up. Um, sometimes I didn't, I did that over here and I wasn't thinking over here. So if you have a problem seeing the adhesive through your vellum, just put the adhesive in the middle so that you can cover it up with your beautiful pieces. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube to hop back over to my blog. I've got a free PDF and two other Time Together projects. And please give me a follow on YouTube. I'd greatly appreciate it. Have fun, everybody. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.